Right, yes, so the game has ended in Ivory Coast currently, Cote d'Ivoire, as I speak to you. And it is a huge embarrassment for um, Ivory Coast as they've conceded 4-0 against Equatorial Guinea today. 4-0, the game ended, and it is a great event. I don't know how to describe this. Host and win, host and win. Now, Ivory Coast um, <laughs> will be praying that um, God in heaven will help them so that the other third place teams will not get at least three points so that they will qualify for the round of 16 but as it stands now there they have a high likelihood in fact there is the great likelihood that ivory coast are out of the tournament <laughs> yes it's not confirmed that they are out of the tournament because other games should come on but there is the great great likelihood and i'm going to explain that to you ivory coast losing 4-0 to equatoria guinea today in fact equatoria guinea has comfortably topped their group the black stars confirmed 11 ghana black stars confirmed starting 11 for the game versus Mozambique is also out and we are going to look at that particular one and see how things go for the senior national team the Ghana Black Stars in this video do well to subscribe to the channel like this video hit the notification bell and select all leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always a great pleasure to have you join us thank you very much also Nigeria on the other hand won 1-0 over Guinea Bissau so yes Nigeria game confirmed they won and they are qualified they qualified to the round of 16 but they will be second place and not first you, you can imagine a group involving ivory coast nigeria equatorial guinea and guinea bissau and uh, equatorial guinea is stopping that group in group a that is remarkable they are topping that group with seven good points plus a lot of goals now if you go to group b2 a group involving ghana egypt um Kevet and mozambique Cape Verde have already topped the group. They are already the leaders of the group. So this African Cup of Nations is actually one surprising one that is shocking everybody. And today we had the biggest shock of the tournament probably, which is Ivory Coast losing 4-0 to Equatorial Guinea. Nothing worked for the team today. In fact, they had about two goals disallowed through the through the VR out, but nothing worked for him. They were for them, they were very poor. Ivory Coast they were very poor with defending. You just cannot understand how quality players in defend but yes so they don't understand the act of defending they were just so sloppy and if you look at the goals equatorial guinea scored it was just i don't know <laughs> through balls on quite like the ball were just going through the defense of ivory coast like a hot knife slicing through um, a margarine you just cannot understand why ivory coast the host nation um, a nation with the whole nation backing you okay uh, you are the host you are hosting the tournament the whole nation is there <laughs> they are they've come to support you but the stadium is full to capacity what at all do you need again you have all the quality name willy boli francese sesco for fanam um who again do you need ivory coast before you can beat a team like equatorial guinea and it is an extremely um um disappointing performance the reason i'm saying that they are <laughs> very much in fact it's it is likely that they will not qualify is one they didn't get four points in the group they have three points and not only three points they also have in three points minus three Three goals they considered four goals today considered one goal versus nigeria so they have three points minus three goals so if any other team in any other group places third and gets three points even minus two goals it means they are going to qualify ahead of ivory coast so they've put the nation in a very difficult situation it is extremely difficult for them to qualify and even if they qualify how would they convince the fans how would they convince the people of ivory coast that they should come and support him and that they, they are going to um, they should come and support them and that they are going to win the trophy i don't know how that is going to happen if you look at the ratings for the players symbolic 6.5 6.9 all the players from the goalkeeper um to the very last man all the players were extremely shambolic and they just didn't offer anything especially with the, the defense it was extremely extremely poor and you can see their back line they have all the names oh <laughs> all the names i don't know if the names want to go and play their, for their club side yeah i don't know um evan indica willy boli um <laughs> conan uh, what which name again wilfred Singo, um ibrahim sangari in the medford francese Sek Fofana, Christian Kwame, Nicolas Pepe, Omar Diakite, the likes of Simon Idingra, and a lot of players came in, and still Ivory Coast were just a huge disappointment, and that's how things went 
over there for them. Hey, I don't know. I don't know. Nigeria, the Super Eagles of Nigeria have managed to qualify to the next round. And that's a very good one. But before we go to the Blasters confirmed 11, there is Mohamed Salah in this competition. Of course, there is uh, Almighty Oshiman of Nigeria. There is also Sadio Mani, Inaki Williams, Nicholas Jackson, and a lot of other names, top names in European football who are playing in this particular African tournament. But then there is this player, um, Emilio Insue. Um, he is a 34-year-old right back who plays for third um, Spanish third division side, um, Ali Akante. And he's playing as a forward for Equatorial Guinea this um, particular tournament. And he has four goals in three games, topping the goal king chart. Extremely, extremely important player for them. Let's look at the confirmed Blasters 11. In fact, it is just what I gave you. I told you guys. I told you. That when I called the Blasters camp, they told me that it was a consistency thing. <laughs> consistency. So, Richard Ofori is still in post. Um, Dennis Odoi as the right back. Gideon Mensah as the left back. Salis Muhammad. And Alexander Jiku as the four and five. <laughs> nothing, nothing changed. I told you, Amate, he will not play unless second half. Then, if we are winning, he will come in. If we are not winning, cry, he will not play. Look, I'm telling look, this this channel, eh, we have credibility. Oh. We have credibility. Don't go and listen anywhere. We tell you that thing. Uh, and it comes to pass. Kudus Mohammed has started. Majida Shimeru, Saleh Samet Abdo has also started. And then I told you that Joseph Penzo will come in to substitute Inaki Williams. And that is the situation. Joseph Penzo in, Jordan Ayu on the other side, and then Antoine Semenyon starting. So this is the confirmed Blasters 11 for the game versus um, Mozambique, Massa Ghana Blasters. If you look at what Equatorial Guinea has done to um, Ivory Coast, you cannot joke with Mozambique. Oh. Please, we beg you. We don't want to hear anything. Ghana Blasters win the game for us. Thank you very much for staying with us. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.